step. Father God, thank you for bringing us here safely today. Thank you for bringing our friends and our family, our pastor, our vendors, our singers, the caterers, the chef, the florist. God, everybody, thank you for getting us here safely today. Father God, we thank you for this food. Please bless the food we're going to eat. God, I thank you for Brooke. I feel eternally indebted to you for her. Lord, she is the single greatest blessing I've ever had in my entire life. And I have so much gratitude. Not only for her, for your constant forgiveness. Lord, I've made plenty of mistakes in my life, but choosing her was not one of them. I believe that you made her for me. I believe that you made me for her. God, I plan on living every second after this day, like it is my last. I promise you, God, that I will continuously love you and to love her. Lord, I will continuously pursue you, and I will continuously pursue her from now until the end of time even as angels in heaven. <laughs> Lord, she is the most beautiful star in the sky. Thank you for having her fall into my life. And once again, thank you for having us pull off this wedding. Oh, and thank you for Zoe, our special, special <laughs> guest. She looks very cute today. She's been a good girl. Mm -hmm. Lord, we love you. We appreciate you. We are thankful for you. And we cannot wait to see what you have planned for us in the future, together with you as a holy trinity. In Jesus' name I pray, Lord, amen. <laughs> Having pledged their faith in and love to each other according to the ordinance of God, by the authority committed unto me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I declare that Floyd McGriff and Brooke Alexander are now husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one separate. Ladies and gentlemen, will you join me on your feet this afternoon? It is my great privilege to announce to you for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Floyd McGriff. Floyd, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> 